How's it going? It's Chris, the copier IT guy, back again. And today, I just wanted to make a little video on how to set up print on your printer or copier machine. I know a lot of people get this wrong because I've been in the IT business for a while and um, even IT people don't seem to really understand how to set up print. A lot of people just use the uh, Windows drivers in the control panel. They go to few devices and then they just go out a printer. But in reality, that's not the correct way to do it. Just like anything with your computer, you need to download the driver from the manufacturer's website. You can't just install a piece in your computer and expect it to work correctly without the drivers. So yeah, today I wanted to stress that. So again, we're working with, uh, oh, sorry guys, my computer crashed a little while ago. So we're having a nice rainy and thundery day and uh, yeah, I lost electricity in my house for a little bit. But anyways, the correct way to do things is to go to the manufacturer's website. As you see here, our machine used in this example is a Kyocera. So we'll go to Kyocera's website. Okay, so we'll just look up the model number here. Here we go. And we'll go to technical downloads. Okay, and as of making this video, the latest Kyocera driver is the 8.0. So we'll click on download. A lot of people just click run, which is not the correct way to do things. You should always download the driver from the website. Don't click run because it won't work half the time. And in our case, this driver is quite big, so it is a zipped file. So running it from the website will not execute the program. So yes, while we wait for this to download. Okay, it's almost done. So yeah, guys, I just want to stress the fact again that you must use the manufacturer drivers for any printer and or copier machine. You are trying to connect to your computer. You need those drivers. So we'll extract the files. Okay, so here's our driver. We want to click on the folder that says EN and then go all the way down to where it says setup. Okay, it's finishing. So there we go. So yeah, we're gonna wanna unclick these other things here too. We don't need printing duplex as default. This is just to save you on paper. You know, if say if you print two documents, it'll come out on one sheet of paper front and back, which is pretty, um, you know, annoying. And the quick print tab, we don't need that either. But for the sake of the video, we'll click, the, click this one as well. Print the test page. I mean, you can do that if you want but I usually don't when I'm doing a big install. So we should have a printer fire up. Oh, I'm out of paper, guys. There we go. Okay, well, my cat inspects what's going on. Perfect. I know you guys can't see it, but I can. Windows test page printed out fine. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much the way to do it. So yeah, guys, any printer you have, HP, Konica Minolta, Sharp, Rico, Xerox, all those major brands, um, you wanna go to their website and make sure you download the driver because the Windows drivers Although they do work, they don't work the way the manufacturer intended. So yeah, it will install. And you see here, you know, Windows did find, but if we right click, go to properties, you see here, 
it's using XPS. I mean, it works for a short time and you will have printing issues, especially on large jobs. I get service calls for that a lot. People always ask me, hey, how come when I print, you know, my large print job, the machine will stop and take a long time to process? That's because it has the Windows XPS drivers, which aren't recommended. So let's remove this one. There we go. And this one we can make our default. Yes, whatever, Windows. So yeah, guys, that's how you set it up. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching my video. And I'll continue to make more technical videos such as this in the future. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And I'll see you in the future.